Hello everybody, welcome. In the last video I showed you how to configure uh, IPv6 on DSL, but my second provider gives me IPv6 with manual configuration, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I still don't have sorted out how to do multi-WAN on IPv6. I have problems routing when you're connected through a different provider, but if you are running on a single provider with fixed IP, it already works, right? So I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first step is to configure your interface based on the instructions from your provider. So you go to your provider interface where you're landing it. And my provider gives me both a st static IPv4 and v6. So when you scroll down, you will see that I configured my IPv4 with my IPv4 gateway based on my provider information. And I entered manually my IPv6 with the subnet mask and I added the gateway based on the instructions from the provider. And this is all you have to do here. The provider has to give this information to you and you have to enter it manually, right? And what happens is your subnet is configured on the provider's end to point to this IP address you have. So you may not necessarily see your subnets as being a subdivision of the provider subnet, for example, right? The routing tables they handle on their end and they can set up them as they want. Well, back on the top, then you can go to the internal interface that you're gonna assign to this external interface. So in, the, in this case, I'm gonna use my VLAN number one because the VLAN number two is using DSL. So VLAN one. And again, you're going to set uh, the IP to static IPv6. Now, the tricky part, your IPv6 is going of this interface is going to be ideally the first IP of the range that your provider gives you. However, mind the subnet, otherwise you're going to have problems with router advertisements. So my provider gives me uh, a 63 subnets, and that includes two 64 subnets. So this interface is gonna have a 64 subnet, otherwise the router advertisement serv service is not gonna work and flood your log of error messages. I found this the hard way. And you don't set a gateway on an internal interface. With this out of the way, we can go to services, again, again, to this pv6 server and router advertisement and once you are here let's forget this pv6 uh, for now you can go to router advertisement and here you're gonna see that i'm using managed mode because i have servers right but you could use anything i think except router only um, to configure your devices if you don't have for example, a server, you can use a managed and let your devices read from the router advertisement. Basically, it's going to tell them, look, pick any IP in this range and your devices are going to assign IP to themselves automatically based on, the, on their MAC address of their interfaces, right? And they're going to tell back to the router, hey, this is the IP I, I gave myself. So your provided routes your, your two subnets, so that 62 block to your external interface, and then trusts your router to redistribute the traffic accordingly. And if you have a server, then you can go to the HPV6 server, you set, in this case, managed, but you can also have a mixed mode where devices can auto-configure or use, and use the DHP server depending on what they are, right? Anyway, go to the HPV6 server, uh, the subnet is going to be already configured based on the IP address that you set on your interface back here in the other page, right? And then what do you do? For example, I gave myself IP1, so my interface is going to have the, uh, the HP range from 2 to the end of the range, right? And of course, you want DNS services. 
Once you are done, if you go to status DHPv6 leases, you see that here I have my both VLANs assigning IP addresses correctly to their clients. As you can see, they have different prefixes coming from the different providers. If you have a single uh, provider, your configuration is done. However, you have two providers. I'm going to come up later with the configuration, how you can point one range to the other so your devices can root out. They will root in fine, so you can have devices on both ranges as it is now. And uh, your route is going to distribute the traffic, but then connecting outside via IPv6 will fail in one of these providers. But this is for later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.